Hello, I'm Dr Al Storey. I'm the clinical lead for a unique service. It's a pan-London street outreach service for homeless people, drug users, prisoners with tuberculosis. Uh, London is the TB capital of Western Europe. We have the highest rates of TB amongst people who've got social risk factors, particularly risk factors around rough sleeping, drug taking and imprisonment. Now we run a Pan-London screening service using digital mobile radiology. We take this to the street and screen about 10,000 people a year to look for evidence of active undetected pulmonary TB. This is an exciting opportunity to be involved in developing CAD, that's Computer Aided Diagnostics. We've done some work so far looking at the utility of Computer Aided Diagnostics as an adjunct to the human eye and some very promising findings are emerging that would lead us to believe there's great potential to harness the computing power of 3D modelling to apply to 2D imaging and improve the diagnostic accuracy of TB detection on the streets. So the clinical challenge, TB's out there, it's increasingly becoming drug resistant, it's concentrated in a population who find it very difficult to access mainstream healthcare services and if we don't get something done about it soon, we're going to be in the, not the TB capital of Western Europe, we're going to be in the TB capital of the whole of Europe. My colleague Dr Paul Taylor is now going to talk about the engineering challenges and the engineering solutions using computer-aided diagnostics. I'm Paul Taylor. I'm a reader in health informatics at the Centre for Health Informatics and Multiprofessional Education. So as Alistair has said, this project is looking at TB, which is a very exciting and challenging application. It's a, one of the big killers in the developing world and also a significant problem in London. And we have, through Alistair's Find and Treat um, project, a huge database of chest x-rays that we can look at. We've already had a PhD student looking at this project and he analysed CT scans, so 3D images, to build 3D models of the variation in appearance between people with TB and without TB. And our intention is to use these models to guide the interpretation of 2D x-rays in order to build computer-aided diagnosis um, system which would help radiologists interpret 2D chest x-rays. And we believe if we can build something that's effective, we can significantly improve the sensitivity and specificity of the radiologist's interpretation. This will be useful in the UK because TB is often missed because people aren't expecting it. And it will be particularly useful in the developing world where radiological expertise is often extremely scarce. So another thing that we'd like to look at is temporal sequences of x-rays. Through Alistair's Find and Treat project, we've got access to temporal sequences of x-rays, by which I mean the same person x-rayed at multiple points in time. And that ought to allow us to look for changes between the x-rays, which would be a very significant indicator of disease. The UCL is a great place to do this work because through Alistair's Find and Treat project, we've got access to a unique database of images. It's great to be working on TB in London, which has become the TB capital of the developed world.